Konnichiwa minasan, my name is How are you guys doing? So today is a video that I've been wanting to make for a while. Um, so I just want to say welcome to my new subscribers. I was kind of surprised that I've gotten quite a bit in um, the past couple months, actually. I didn't think anyone would be interested in listening to some little brown girl ranting about Lolita Fashion and J Fashion and obviously Hatsune Miku if you guys know so welcome so today's video is on my current Miku collection uh, I'll show some of my posters and other little merch and then I'll show you all of the figures that I currently have as of today now there's a chance that I could be getting another figure next week or the week after but that will be included in another video and if it's not its own unboxing video <laughs> So I want to show you every single Miku figure. I don't have a lot. I have like a few. Um, I'll show it to you with, from. I'll show you from the oldest to newest figure. As in, my oldest would be like 2000 something, and then newest would be 2017, which would be my racing Miku. I got these probably in like early 2010s time frame. I, I remember getting this one in high school, I just remember, I believe 2011. And then this one I got in a little bit more recent, probably like 2012, 2013, I don't remember. So they're pretty much pop props of Hatsune Miku. I have them standing next to each other just because they're unable to stand on their own. So this is the original Hatsune Miku version. You can see her regular clothes, her cute microphone, and her pigtails. And then this is the snow crystal, so she's like a snow, kind of, basically a crystal version of her. So it's the same design, it's just different coloring. The only thing I don't like about these are the pigtails. The twin tails, they kind of break. I actually had to super glue them um, at least a couple times because they're kind of heavy for the head or they're too light. I don't know, they're just weighted weird so I kind of have to have them next to each other so they're standing and I have them on top of something else to be standing. <laughs> next thing I have is the Sim Hatsune Miku Symphony CD. This was something that I got I believe two years ago. Um, so pretty much she has like live orchestral performances. It's like an actual orchestra, orchestra playing her song, so I bought the CD when it was released, so that was a lot of fun stuff there. And it came with um, some other stuff, it came with like a file folder, and that's about it from what I remember. So next, I have a few pins, so here's a Len pin, um, there's just a, just a regular pin. It's just a regular pin, and then I have a Luca keychain. Aside from Miku, um, Luca is definitely like, probably my my second favorite, close first favorite, second favorite Vocaloid. Um, I really like these two. This was from when I was in Tokyo and you buy one and it's, it's just random and it comes with anything. And of course I have a Miku one. Um, this one wasn't a random one, it was just what you could buy. And then I have a few of the other pins. These, I have. this is a newer one that I recently bought. This I've already shown in my Hasne Miku um, makeup uh, video if you haven't watched that. And this was a little keychain that a friend gave me when he went to California. So he just thought of me and got me this little cute one. There's actually three other ones. They're kind of, they're also like a gacha where you buy one and you get one random. This was the one I got. I got like an angry face, sulky face of Miku. It's really cute. And then I have the Racing Miku 2016 keychain as well. It's a really big girl. So it's really cute. It's just one-sided. So I have this mirror with the five, with, with the six main, um, Vocal and it's a mirror. More pins that I've already shown. So I don't know if you guys remember, but in my 
Racing Miku 2017 video, I mentioned that there were um, a few goodies that actually was supposed to come in my order, but they, but it was sent separately and it got lost in the mail. So I did get them. Thankfully, they arrived um, probably a couple days after I made that video. Um, so this is the personal sponsor card that I was talking about. It's just like a. Like if you go to the racing event, you show them this and you kind of go in there, I believe. I um, mean, you just put your name. It's just the Sears. Just, it's basically just a card. And then the lanyard that it comes with is just a big old, big old lanyard. Just so you can see, it's almost the size of my face. Um, it's just a design of her, and it's just so you can put like, like whatever you want in it. So you can just put like that little card that I showed you. And then the keychain for this year is really, really cute. So it's this girl right here, and it's actually a keychain, and then you can stand it actually. So this is the little stand that it comes with. So you just pop that right there, and she's standing. It's so cute, I love it so much. And this one, I also have this pin, which was also in the gacha that I got with the one with Len. It was also when I went to Kami Cat, and then I also got the Hatsune Miku 2017, Racing Miku 2017. A portable battery. This I also got last year when I was at Comic Cat in Tokyo. So the first figure I want to show you guys, it's actually this Nendroid. I recently had gotten this Nendroid from a friend who um, just had it in their house and never really opened it. So she asked me, hey, do you want this? Because I don't, I didn't really open it. Yada, 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 I'll give it to you. And I was like, hell yeah. And so, you know, I paid shipping for it and it's here. So this is from 2011. Um, this is pretty much a orchestra version of Hasane Miku. Um, she comes with some of these, the drums, the keyboards, and then she comes with a couple other things, different hands, different faces too. And then I just really like this. <laughs> this was, I will have to admit, um, this is my first Android and it was kind of hard to assemble her because it kept falling. It might have been, just because it's a little bit old, this is from 2011 and it has been in the box probably since um, it's been distributed and such. So that might be why I just, but I really love this figure. Um, like her face is just so cute. It's like I definitely will buy more uh, Hatsune Miku Nendroids probably in the future. Next figure that I have up is Hatsune Miku in her original snow clothes. I'm not sure what year this figure came out. Uh, it probably wasn't till like the past like five or three years. Um, but this is pretty much like a Snow Miku version. It's just with her in like regular clothes. And just so you can see, she's just like ice skating actually almost. You can see her little plate there. She has like some snow there. And she's just really cute. I just really love that face so much. Like just look at her. Oh, she's so cute. Next up is Hatsune Miku Racing Miku actually from 2015. This is actually my favorite um, Hatsune Miku uh, racing version. I don't know why, it's just something about this version that just really screams out to me more than any of the other ones. Uh, this is just the scale figure, so this is like the one that you can buy at like, or win from the arcade store. I do really want the Figma version of her, but she's kind of a little bit hard to get. She's just on the regular stand and she has her, her lance here, which is like her weapon. And then in the Figma version, she has like a shield. Uh, which I can show right there in the picture, but I really like this figure a lot. This is technically my first uh, Hatsune Miku figure. This was actually gifted to me from a friend. Um, she gave it to me for my birthday two years ago almost. So this was really cool. This was like physically my first figure, but I had pre-ordered another figure before that. Next up is Racing Miku 2016. Um, I have two technically, I have two figures of the same girl. Um, so this is last year's Racing Miku. I got this from Japan when I was there last year. I just bought it there at a used figure shop. And then this one here, I already showed you. Uh, my friend actually gifted this. This is the Figma. Um, so as you can see, it's very different. So the scale figures tend to be bigger, but they also tend to be cheaper. Whereas the Figmas are a little bit more detailed and they tend to be on the more pricier side, but they come with more, a lot more accessories. And they are they tend to be a lot smaller than the figure. So this is she can do more um, poses here and have different faces and she also has the umbrella as well, which comes with the Figma. Um, and also it came as I already showed you in the unboxing with the card and then the lanyard and then the, the keychain that I already showed you. 
Uh, this isn't really one of my favorites Racing Miku, just because I'm not a fan of the color palette they use. But other than that, she's really freaking cute. I probably wouldn't mind cosplaying as her if I could one day. So this is a Hatsune Miku figure rights bust. Um, as you can see, she doesn't have legs. Uh, but this was, you had to assemble it yourself, so I already, sh I kind of mentioned this in one of my past videos. Um, the only thing I don't like about the figure, again, is that her nails are not painted because the, her nails on the box were painted. That was the only thing. Um, I really liked this a lot. This was kind of fun to just assemble. Um, it took me a little bit to assemble her because you had to put the stickers on her for on the clothes and then just make sure all the parts are in there. The next one. This is Hase Miku Snow Miku of 2017. Uh, I got this one over the summer. If you guys remember, I did do an unboxing if you want to see more of it. This is a Figma, so she comes. She does come with a little other goodie. She comes with the lamp, and then her little partner in crime, Yukine the rabbit. So this is probably one of my favorite designs of her of the Snow Miku. I don't know. There's just something about stars and music in this design that I really love a lot. And finally the last figure that I recently received, as you know I already did an unboxing of this one, Racing Miku 2017. So this was uh, this year's um, Racing Miku design. They already announced uh, last year's 2018 design. If you haven't seen that, I'll probably the link below. They also announced a Hatsune Miku Snow Miku design for 2018. Um, I might be getting the Nendroid version of that just because I'm not a big of a fan of the Figma version. But as far as the Racing Miku 2018 version, I will probably also be getting the Nendroid version. Just because I'm not a huge fan of the Figma version, um, but that could change. Thanks again for watching this video. If you like, want to see more Miku, just let me know down in the comments and subscribe for more. And I'll probably will be having more Miku unboxing videos of figures and other merch since I have about like three or two uh, Hatsune Miku figures pre-order that will be releasing later this year. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!